hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to defeat Ozma the ultimate optional boss in Final Fantasy 9 I did one of these videos before it was like two months ago but I did it without the voiceover so I've decided to redo the battle and here it is hope you enjoy it For the actual battle, I'm gonna be showing you how to prepare yourself. I'm gonna be using uh, my favorite characters in the game. And now as soon as we access the menu, I'm gonna be showing you everything you need to kinda easily defeat Ozma. First things first, we will put all of our characters in the back row, because I heard that Curse deals less damage if you are in the back row. So these are the characters I'm gonna be using. Equipment, it's gonna be like this. Ori Chalcon because of plus one speed it adds. Circlet because it's the strongest. Thief Gloves because of plus one speed. Ninja Gear to absorb shadow element. And Ribbon because of the damage reduction on most of the elements. For Steiner, it's gonna be Pumice Piece because of Holy and Shadow Absorption, Maximilian, Venetia Shield, Grand Helm, and Ragnarok. For Freya, it's gonna be Dragon's Hair, Genji Helmet, Venetia Shield, Demon's Maul because of the Shadow Absorption, and Protect Ring because of the stats it provides and the Elemental Protection. Amaranth, Ribbon, same like Zidane, Ninja Gear to absorb Shadow, Chimera Armlet because of the Holy Damage Reduction, and Circlet because it's the strongest, Kaiser Knuckles they have Elemental Attack Wind on it, and with no mercy it's gonna be causing a lot of damage. With Amaranth I'm gonna be using no mercy, like I said it causes non-elemental damage to the enemy but if your weapon has some element on it it's gonna be elemental attack then. Ozma has a weakness to holy and wind. With Zidane I'm gonna be using thievery. I was stealing from the beginning of the game so it's gonna be causing a lot of damage. With Steiner I'm gonna be using shock as long as I have MP and then if I go down I'm gonna be using stock break. With Freya, I should be using Dragon's Crest, but since we are gonna need Freya in the air, we're gonna be using her jump command. The levels are 66, 59, 55 and 61. I left Freya on level 55 because if Ozma uses level 5 death, she's the only one gonna be affected by it. And if she's in the air, it's not gonna affect her either. So we are hoping that's gonna happen. As for the abilities which we have equipped, they are as follows. Auto haste, auto region, HP plus 20% and auto life for Zidane. That's the important part. Antibody, clear headed and auto potion. Auto potion we have equipped because it will allow region to regenerate more health while we cast it. Auto haste for Steiner, auto region, auto life and HP plus 20%. Antibody and clear headed. Freya, auto haste, auto region, auto life. High jump to cause more damage. Antibody, auto potion, same reason as for Zidane and clear headed. Amaranth, Auto Haste, Auto Region, Auto Life, and HP plus 10%. Antibody, Auto Potion, and Clear Headed. Now, with all that being said, we are ready to go. And go. I'm finding Ozma at the beginning of Disc 4. I did not do the Friendly Creatures side quest. So, if he casts Doomsday, he's gonna heal himself, 
and attack us. So let's see how he's gonna open the battle. Hopefully not with Meteor or Curse. Because that would be so bad for us. Doomsday. Super. We love that. Jump. And hopefully we will squeeze in at least two attacks. It's good that he used Doomsday because he has no HP to heal and he cannot damage us. So this is a perfect beginning of the battle. This battle is based on a lot of luck. So we'll see how it goes. No Mercy, Amaranth. Ozma, we will show you no mercy. Let's see. Almost 8,000. Ozma has 55,000 HP. And it's not about the amount that he has, it's about the strategy he's gonna be using against you. If he starts healing a lot, this battle can last for so long, it can be so exhausting. Steiner was affected by Berserk, we need to heal him, because otherwise all of his turns are gonna be can't reach, can't reach. There we go, Thievery. So we've dealt with Thievery now, it's gonna be almost half of his health. So yeah, it's like 25, 26,000, which is very, very good. Berserk. Who is he gonna cast it on? Awesome! Miss! That's what we need. Level 5 death. This is what I was talking about. Freya is in the air and he used an attack that cannot kill anybody now. This is the perfect strategy in this instance. We were super lucky. There we go. Steiner is back to normal. Now I think Freya is gonna come down. There we go. So 30,000. Turaga, he's already starting to heal, which is unusual, but let's try to use that. Zidane, awesome, Tivari. Let's cancel that Kuraga. Additional 9000. Awesome. Oh, let's see what's gonna happen. Death. We don't care about death. Amaranth. He has auto life on him, which is perfect. He's gonna revive himself and let's see, Freya is in the air, she's safe, Steiner attacks now. So far this battle is going much better than expected. Full damage, wow this is absolutely incredible, Zidane squeezed in Thievery again. While Thievery is on the screen. Amaranth is healing himself and this is so far perfect. I lost track of how many hit points we took from him. But let's see what he's gonna do next. Kuraga. If he starts spamming Kuraga, that's not good because the battle lasts forever then. Let's see now. Spear. 5,000, that's good. And now we can expect something horrible. Kiraga, awesome. Let's see now. 7,000. Steiner, cancel it. I love this attack. Let's see. No, he didn't squeeze it in. It would be so good if Zidane was able to attack again. Kuraga again. My my. Let's see. 7000. 
Now it's done. Cancel it again. These long attacks are very useful because the region kicks in and heals so much while the attack is on the screen. So I'm gonna use Kuraga again. Doomsday. Okay, it's like Kuraga for him and doesn't matter to us. Once you complete the friendly creature side quest, Doomsday actually damages Ozma. Or if you have the Mace of Zeus with Vivi and you cast Doomsday, you can heal yourself and damage Ozma, which is also a very useful trick, but this is all happening before we obtained the weapon and before we did the friendly creature side quest. Amarant with no mercy and he's dead. This might be the easiest way I ever beat Tosma. All the things somehow got well together. When he used level 5 death, Freya was in the air. He used death and berserk. He didn't cast meteor. He didn't cast curse. Incredible. This is so rare. This happens, well, to me it never happened before actually, to be honest. This is the first time I beat him so easily. Well, Freya saw from high up in the sky what happened down there. So we get experience points and 100 AP. We don't need this at this stage because nobody poses such a threat to us uh, after we defeat Ozma. We get Dark Matter and Pumis. Awesome combination of items. Ozma is the most difficult enemy in Final Fantasy IX. Necron cannot even come close and Hades sometimes if you are not prepared for him. After the battle, Mene tells us some nice things. We were super good, blah blah blah. And he's gonna give us a strategy guide. One more bonus, he's gonna heal us up and remove our stats effects. I hope you guys enjoy the battle. It actually went down quite easy, I didn't see it coming. And I'll hopefully see you in my next video as well.